Hey guys, consider a scenario where Marvel Cinematic School wants to issue an ID card to all their students. This is the template for the ID card and they have got the basic information as well as the photos of all the students as you can see here. So they want you to generate the ID card for all the students which will look a bit like this. Now you've got two options here. One is that you can use any image editing software and copy paste all the information and generate each card, ID card one by one. Now this is manual and a very tiring process. The second option that you've got is that you can write a simple Python script for generating these ID cards. Basically image manipulation using Python. So that is exactly what we're going to learn in this video. And ID card is just an example. You can use this technique wherever you've got a bunch of records and a template and you want to generate cards or posters for each record. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do here is to load all the data that we need in order to generate the ID cards from a given template. So in my project directory, I've got a template.png, which is the template for generating an ID card. Then I've got students.csv, which contains all the basic information about all the students. And I've got the photos directory where I've got the photos of all the students. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to load the basic information of all the students. So for that, I can do import pandas as PD. So I'm going to use the pandas library for reading the CSV because it makes it quite straightforward to do that. So just keeping it as a data frame and the data frame looks a bit like this so let me make the index column as id so here we have got all the basic information about all the students that we have and now let us see how to load the images right because we are going to need to download the image in python so that we can work over it so so for example, let's say I have to load the template.png. So what I'm going to do? So I'm going to use pillow library in order to do any kind of image manipulation. And pillow is actually the best image manipulation library in Python because it provides you a lot of functionalities uh, to work over. So you can just install it by doing pip install pillow. And after that, all you need to do is from PIL import image. Once you do that, you can now load any image by doing image.open and then providing the path to that image. For example, template.png. So here you've got template.png. It has been loaded, right? So in this way, I've got template.png. Similarly, let me load um, the photo of any of the students. For example, let's say the roll number one. So one.jpg. So here we have got the Captain America. So now what I need to do, the first thing that I'm going to learn to do is that I will be superimposing this image of this student over this portion of my template. So that is the first thing that we are going to learn how to do that, right? So for that, the basic thing or the basic information that I need to know is that what are the coordinates of this particular position and this particular position. Once we know these coordinates, then we can simply superimpose this particular image over it and for that one more thing that we need to do is to resize this big image right so these are the two things that we need to do so in order to determine these pixel coordinates you can use any image editing software or let's say ms paint or any photoshop software and then you can just use the selection tool and just hover around the corner whose pixels you want for example this corner right so it is 2575 I think so that value is visible here in my case so these pixel values you can find in any editing software in any image editing software so this seems to be 2575 around that and this one seems to be around 190 265 so 190 265 is what we are going to go with so let me just put that information somewhere that it is 25 comma 75 the upper left corner and we have got 190 265 as the lower right corner so these are the two information the two values that we have so now according to this data what should be the height and the width of the image that should be pasted here so that will be 190 minus 25 so let me just uh, verify it once again so this was 190 right yeah so it is 190 minus 25 for the width 
and 265 minus 75 for the height so 190 minus 25 will be 165 and 265 minus 75 will be 190 right so now let me just show you how to resize an image you can simply do resize and then provide the new width and height so the width is gonna be 165 and height is gonna be 190 so look at that we have got the resized image and now it looks like that we can simply superimpose it over our template and one more thing that you can do here is that you can specify one um, flag which is image dot anti alias so then it will put some anti-aliasing techniques over your image so that some jaggies which get formed when you change the resolution of an image that will not happen so that's fine and in this way we have resized our image right so now what we need to do is we need to put it over here so how do i do that so let me just uh, keep it as template is equal to image dot open this and then i have the let me call it pick so pick is equal to this so I've got these two things here, right? So now I need to do template dot paste, template dot paste, and now you need to provide the image that you want to paste. So that is pick, and then you need to provide the box, which is the four tuple coordinate system where you define the left upper and right lower, uh, right uh, right lower pixel coordinates of your image so that they were if you remember they were 25 75 190 265 right so this is just gonna paste the pick over my template and let's see how our template looks like right now and look at that we have got the image superimposed over our template and that is exactly what we want so we have actually done 50 percent of our work which was to paste an image a photo over our template so this is how you do it it is quite simple right so this is the first thing and now let's go to the next thing which is putting the text over here so we need to put the text on an image and at some particular positions so that is what we're gonna try to see how to do that so for that I will again need to know the coordinates so let us just try to find this particular coordinate here right so let me go back and see so this seems to be like 315 comma 90 so one thing that i would like to tell you here is that in order to draw anything for example a text over an image you need to use the image draw class and you need to create a draw object of your image so draw equal to image draw dot draw over the template so now this draw object will let you draw anything over your image so let me just keep it up here so this is the order in which we are doing the things right so draw dot text and then you have to provide some information here so x y x y coordinates are for what you need to draw here right so i would i know the coordinates which is let me just go back it was 315.90 right yeah so the coordinates are 315,90 and now I need to provide the text that I want to write so the text that I'm gonna write is id let's say 1 so that is what I'm gonna write so now how does our template look like oh look at that it's quite small right so now we are gonna learn how to load a font so that we can write text in any way we want so i'm just gonna load a font for you so that we can write the text in a much better way so for that you can load any ttf file you can go to fonts fonts.google.com and from there you can download any font that you like so let me just go for open sans so this is the one this is quite simple one and you can just download the family and this zip file now you can simply extract and once you do that inside you have a lot of ttf files so just select one ttf file 
which you want to use as a font while writing or drawing some text so let's go with open sans semi bold or ttf so i've already copied it here so i'm just going to load it as a font and then we are going to use it for writing the text so let me just do image font we are going to import the image font class now and then we have to load a font which can be done like this font is equal to image font dot true type here now you have to provide the font name so the font is gonna be open sans hyphen symbol dot ttf so this will load the font for you now one thing that you can do here is that you can also specify the size and that is ex exactly what we are looking for we want to have a much bigger size for this one that has been written here so let me just keep the size as let's say 25 so this is my font so now let me just specify that the font is equal to font and now look at that the one looks much bigger and also let me just reload it again so as you can see that it is superimposing everything over one another so for that you have to just um reload the template again and then try to draw and then you will see one here right and now in order to make one black you can use fill equal to black so now it is black so now it looks better and uh, now i think um i didn't take the coordinate values correctly i should make the x or the uh, i should make the y coordinate a bit lesser 85 looks fine so yeah or maybe even lesser let me make it 80 and let me just put it along with everything so this is all the image manipulation that we are doing and then we are trying to see the final result in the template so yeah now it looks perfect and now let me just try to find it for name and once that is done then i know that everything is evenly spaced so i can just use some maths to make it um, easier to calculate so for name i think we can go for i think we can go for 130 i think we can go for 130 so it is 315 comma 130 315 130 and the name is captain america and here you go i think 130 is a bit more let us make it 125 now it looks good right so now you can see that the difference between the y values is 45 125 minus 80 is 45 so now according to that logic i can just add 45 to 125 which will be 170 and then add 145 to 170 again which will be 215 and in this way now i know that i can just calculate the value so I think Captain America is much older. So the class, let's make it 12 in Roman. Okay, so look at that. We have generated one ID card by doing all this image manipulation. Now you might be thinking that doing all this for generating a single ID card is gonna take some effort, right? But if you think of doing it for a bunch of records, then it is just a single click if you have known all the image manip image manipulation that you need to do here like this right so now what we're going to do is we're just going to convert it to a simple function and that function will do that for any given record so def generate card is what we're going to call it which will take some information which will say take some data let us call it record or let us call it data which is smaller to say and this is what we are going to do with it and we return the template so the pick is going to be one dot jpg no it is going to be roll number dot jpg or the id dot jpg so the id i can fetch by doing data id so in this way i'll be able to get the photo depending upon the id of the person and then here again i'll be doing data id now one thing that you can notice is that here the id might be an integer so let me just do it df dot values so 
df dot index actually so look at that it is an integer so i need to convert it to a string so let me just make it string data id and then the data name and data class and what else do we have name class date of birth and finally data dob so that's it in this way we have made it easier to generate an id card and one thing that i'm going to do with my data frame is that i'm going to convert it to a dictionary so that it can be passed to this function easily so df dot as dict um, to dict so this is how it looks like so let me just change the orientation to records okay now it looks fine so we've got name date of birth and class but we are missing the id here so i think it should have been better if i didn't keep id as the index column but as a simple column so that i can have it in my dictionary data so yeah now it looks fine so i think this is the better way to do it so we this is the data and i need to pass one dictionary at a time to my generate card function so that is what i'll be doing so let me just call it as records and keep it like this only and here for record in records we are going to do something but before that let us just test if our generate card function is working fine or not by doing records zero and yeah it looks fine records one yeah it looks cool so it is working fine and once you get that card you are gonna save it so for that what you can do is let me just keep it like this card equal to generate card and then pass records zero let's say right so you have got the card so you can simply do card dot save use the save function where you can provide the path where you want to save it so i would like to save it in a folder called cards so let me just make it cards and then we can simply do cards slash let's say one dot jpg and i think it should save it easily yeah it is saving it so that looks fine so in this way we'll be able to do the same thing so card equal to generate a card for the record which is being iterated right now and then just do card dot save formatted string cards slash record id dot jpg so in this way we will be able to save our card and looks cool so look at that the loop is working and in just a few seconds we got all the cards right so yeah so in this way we have generated all the cards if you just want to check any one of them let us see and yes you can see that we have generated all the cards that we needed in a single click right so in this way um, we have learned how to generate cards from a given template by doing some image manipulation over it and it is working really fine so this is all the code that we had to write and this is the simple image manipulation thing that we did so i hope that you found it interesting and enjoyed the process of doing all this and you can do it for your own projects too and if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching